Folks, this is a story of the Golden West, land of romance, promise, nature. It is a story of Indian warfare, of the lure of gold, of those pathfinders who risked their lives to establish a new empire. To blaze that trail required great courage. And so, let us proceed with the first chapter of our story entitled, Pals in Buckskin. Oh, yellow snake is killing him. White man drives him from the teepees, kills the game, takes the land that's been there for years. White man must be driven off. He must be destroyed. You know what that means? General uprising, I suppose. You bet. We've got to get our stake and get out of here before it happens. Let's go. Got any friends that want to take up his argument? He's no friend of mine. Help he needs a brother. Me. Oh, you're all right. 
want any trouble with you, Woods. Just sign over your claim and get off. Why? Go, boys. They've learned their lesson. Come on, get up. <laughs> I'm glad you come. They nearly got me. Come on in. They heard the shots from on the hill. Everything looks all right. Wait a minute. Jack, this letter will tell them who you are. And this gold will pay the debts my brother Tom undertook when he sent me out here and take care of your expenses. Thank you. <laughs> if anything has happened to Tom, you can locate his daughter Mary by that picture. Uh, he don't need her picture. He knows it by heart. <laughs> hey, Jack. Don't you know it's dangerous to fall in love with a picture? Why, the real girl is always so different. Uh, not this one. Oh, maybe she is. Hey, hey, hey! Don't you think there's been enough fighting here? Leave something for my old age. <laughs> well, goodbye, Mr. Woods. Goodbye, Jack. Good luck to you. Thank you. Hey, goodbye, Mr. Woods. Are you going to? Yeah, I guess I'll trail along a ways. See that the engines don't get that picture. <laughs> I'll trade your horses there, Jack. You couldn't trade me a horse enough with that burrow that you have. <laughs> that is a right good horse. <laughs> well, Wood. Goodbye. Goodbye, Manning. Good luck to you. Yeah, I'll give him a good start. Hi,
That engine up there is sending some others after us. Come on, let's hurry. Jack, you're hurt. I told you that girl meant a lot to me. And I'll expect you to bring her back with you. I intend to. <laughs> well, Bill. Goodbye. Goodbye, Jack. And don't lose your scalp. I'll try not to. <laughs> seems to have struck it rich. What else? Hey, McKee. Yeah, Connie. I just made the rain bill inside there. Won't let old Uncle Amos go with your wagon train ramps? Hey, you know I can just drive like Luba. No. I won't need the town busybody where I'm going, aimless. Oh, you do as I told you, will you? Yes, sir. Good morning. Oh, hello. Well, Tom, did you get a new word from your brother George? Not a lie. He no doubt struck it rich and is keeping it to himself. If I were you, Woods, I'd get out there. I'm still willing to equip a wagon for you. You will? Under certain conditions. Oh. Mary and I will take a little ride and talk this thing over. Oh, oh boy. Come on, Mary.
looking for California? Don't forget, Mary, I staked your uncle when he went west. And I still hold your father's notes for that. Oh, Mary, you're losing a chance to make a fortune. Marry me, and we'll start west at once. Rance Carter, would you marry me, knowing that I do not love you? Miss Mary Woods, aren't you? Well, I have a message for your father from his twin brother, George. Oh! Before presenting chapter two, entitled A Call to Arms, you will remember that George Woods, a prospector, sent Jack Manning east to Hillsdale with gold for his twin brother, Tom Woods. Jack knew Tom Woods' daughter, Mary, from her photograph, which he carried with him. And just as Bill Williams, his pal in Buckskin, had predicted, it was love at first sight with Jack. When Jack arrived at Hillsdale, he found Rance Carter using Tom Woods' indebtedness to him as a club to force Mary to accept him. 
Jack's dog, resenting Carter's presence, leaped upon him, frightening Mary's team, which bolted and ran away. In dashing to Mary's aid, Jack lost the goal. And as he leaped from his horse to her rescue, the crash came. where I can give him the proper attention. Oh, please, doctor. Take him to father's. It's the least I can do to thank him for saving my life. What I did, Miss Woods, requires no thanks. It was a privilege. You better keep quiet, young man, until we find out how badly you're hurt. <laughs> Did you drop this picture, Mary? Why, no. Where did you get it? I, I picked it up back there where that young fella got hurt. Let me keep it, Amos, and I'll try and find out where he got it. Huh? All right. Who is it? You're getting along all right, Bill. All right. I'm all right, I'm all right. Careful, I'll take it easy. something, Mr. Manning. What is it? It was good of you to make that long trip to bring us news of Uncle's gold strike. Oh, well, yes. I only wish that Uncle had sent us some of his gold so we could go west with that wagon train tomorrow. 
Well, your uncle did send you some of his gold. Oh, yes? He gave me a bag of gold to give to your father to pay all of your expenses going out west. Oh! And I've lost it. Mary, I've searched everywhere, everywhere. But it's gone. Oh, Mr. Manning. Am I to understand that my brother sent me gold and you lost it? Yes. I told you that fellow Manning wasn't all that he seemed to be. Why? Oh, please. Rance Carter, after the way he saved my life, would you call him a thief? Please, please. How the gold was lost doesn't matter. It's gone. And with it, our only chance to go west. Oh, Mr. Wood, your brother has struck it rich. He has plenty of gold. Surely some of your friends here will stake you until we can get out there. That isn't necessary. Mr. Woods can go with me as we planned. We'll arrange the details later. Do you mean that, Ranch? Yes, I mean it. We'll get the wagons now, and you can start loading your stuff. And there's something else I want to settle with you, too. We've got everything. We're pretty well equipped. The best equipped wagon on the train, I think. Yeah, all we need now is a lot of good luck. I think we'll have it all right. since he came to town. I have no right to interfere, Rance. Mary must make her own choice between you. Jack, ever since we've met, I've wanted to ask you something. Yes? Where did you get this? Why, why, your Uncle George gave it to you identify you. Oh. But that's not the only reason I've got it. No? Don't you know why I've carried it? Mary? You've got to get rid of Manning. Or you don't go west in my wagon. Wait, Lance. Wait. Mary must go west. I want her to be with my brother George. Should anything happen to me. Oh, I'm 
Sunday party. on the warpath. It looks like a general uprising. Then this morning, when I was riding up White Cliff, I ran square into them. I was riding up the side of the cliff on my way to Old Grizzlies, and as I reached the top, I spied them. It was Yellow Snake's band. I reckon there was, uh, oh, a hundred of them. I waited for them to stop and powwow, and then I opened fire on them. They rushed right into my fire, barking back with arrows and lead. It sure looked like I'd reached the end, and I had to think quick. There was only one thing for me to do. I did it. Fell from my horse, rolled down the cliff, and played dead. The Reds seen me fall, rode to the edge of the cliff, looked down, and feeling sure they'd finished me, let out a war whoop and scampered off. Making sure they were gone, I got up and started to scout around from my horse. But good old Ginger was up to what I was doing, and came tearing down after me. I watched the engines right away, but knowing you never can trust them red devils and thinking they might circle me, I hit from my hidden trail in Dark Canyon and hightailed it back to town. It is an old trick, but it saved my scalp. Yes, but my brother and Mary's going right through that Indian country. But Jack Manning is with them. And he can beat the Indians at their own game any day. Yeah, I hope so. My dog seems to be about as glad as I am. We're going west with you. Manning, you're under arrest. Tom Woods here says you stole the gold his brother sent him. Hey, Father, what does this mean? Father! Mr. Woods is not back of this, Carter. Someday you and I will meet again. What's the trouble? Manning, I think. What's he doing here, Father, father. You'll have a chance to prove that. Boys, you get those wagons in line. We're ready to go. All right, Mary. They're waiting for us. Wait, don't, don't. Come on. Give us a chance. Mary. Oh, Jack. Goodbye. 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 Miss Jack, I believe in you. <laughs> Aren't you going, Amos? No, sir. If there ain't room enough out west for my friends, there ain't room enough for me. Oh. All right, Amos.
Before we start chapter three entitled, The Furnace of Fear, let me remind you that Jack Manning went east to carry gold to Tom Woods, so he and his daughter Mary could join George Woods, Tom's twin brother, at Gold Creek. Bill Williams, Jack's pal in Buckskin, predicted a lot of trouble for Jack, and he was right. In saving Mary from a runaway, Jack lost the gold. Rance Carter, who had staked Mary's uncle, and is financing Mary and her father on the trip west to keep them in his debt, found the gold and kept it. And now, with the wagon train leaving for Gold Creek, Jack is falsely accused of theft and arrested. Mary is heartbroken over the party. Over at the county seat. You certainly can, Amos. Doesn't look as though I were going to get a chance to use him now. Take care of my horse, Amos. Yeah, you won't need a horse where you're going. Give me your gun. Come on. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Everything looks quiet. I reckon we're in time. Hey, look. this uprising is over. I guess you're right, Bill. Pull up those windows, boys. Come on.
I figured he wasn't guilty. So I just used my personal influence and I got him out. <laughs> <laughs> you sure did, Amos. Now I can catch that wagon train before it hits the Indian country. Well, I sure hope you do, boy. Goodbye, Amos. And thank you. <laughs> Bye, cracky folks. If I only had a horse, turned if I wouldn't go with that. <laughs> I'll lend you mine, Amos. You give me half the gold, fine. <laughs> you will? Say, hey, that's a bargain, mister. <laughs> give me the horse. No, I can't give you that horse, Amos. I was only fooling. That horse cost me a hundred dollars. Well, I never ride a cheap horse, and a bargain's a bargain. Now, oh, give me the horse. Come on, Bob. You made a bargain. Wait a minute. Goodbye. I got fifty dollars worth of provisions. Goodbye. 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 Good morning, Wayne. Good morning. There you are, Mary. Looks like we're going to have another good day, doesn't it? Well, hey. wait a minute, Wood. Let Mary ride along. I want to talk with you. All right. Stop that very hot, Mary. your fire car. That's liable to spread. Well, what if it does? We won't be here. Come on. your daughter as soon as we get to gold trade. And I'm counting on your help to make her forget Manny. Well, Amos, for the shortcuts we've taken, we ought to sight the wagons today. You're right. We should. Well, I guess I'll have to put that thing out. 
Yep. I don't never leave no fires behind me. No, no. Nope. That's all right to me. We must warn the others. showing you the red terror that being chapter four of the engines are coming a thrilling story of the pioneer days in america jack manning you remember was put in jail when that coyote rance carter charged him with stealing the gold that tom woods twin brother george had sent east so tom and his daughter mary could join him out west at Gold Creek. But Uncle Amos got Jack out of jail, and he and Jack have been hitting the trail hard trying to catch up with the wagon train. Rance Carter is plumb sure 
that he'll win Mary and has told her father that he must lend a hand in help making Mary forget Jack. Amos and Jack catch up with the wagons just as a pesky prairie fire is sweeping down on them. Mary's wagon is wrecked and she's pinned under it, right in the trail of, of the sweeping flames. fire down, sweeping right down through that valley. That wagon train is right in its path. It would be. No thanks to you, Carter. If your little scheme to keep Manning in jail had succeeded, Mary would have perished. Oh, Father. My child, my child. Manning, how can I ever thank you? I can only thank Providence, sir, that I got there in time. I'm certainly sorry I had a hand to your arrest, Manning. I was forced into it. We don't want any jailbirds with this wagon train, Manning. Listen, Carter. We need men like Manning in this wagon train more than we need you. Am I right, folks? Yeah. It was your carelessness that caused that fire. Why do you put the fire on? Mary, dear, we have room in our wagon for you and your father. Haven't we, Leia? Well, I should say we have. I'm glad to have you with us, Wood. You don't need to ride to this fella Carter anymore. Now you just run along, get in our wagon. Oh, thank, thank you, Leia. Okay. Manning, I want to talk to you, too. See, it's men like you we need to guide us across these plains. That's sure a narrow escape we had, Dad, in that fire. Yeah, you're lucky. Look at here. Here comes Amos. Hello. 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 Hello.
Lord, Marty. Oh, Gee, but that darn saddle got huh? sore. <laughs> <laughs> you get here. Well, I come overland. Oh, I'd have been here sooner, but you see, I have to stay till I got Jack Manning out of jail. You get Jack Manning out of jail? I sure did. Why, I just used my influence. Man, where'd you get the horse? Well, a fella back home staked him to me. Say, I'll sell him to you for a hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that night. I'm going to settle with Mr. Carter when the proper time arrives. Manny needn't think he's going to take that girl from me. No. If somebody told her that you had her uncle's gold, he sure could. Come here. Well, I'm looking forward to some very happy days together to gold, I hope so, Jack. You hope so? 
Well, aren't you sure? Not with Rance Carter, though. There she be. I, hmm. Cracky, I reckon them Indians they talk so much about must have heard that I was with this outfit. Don't you got Amos? I got a weak heart. <laughs> yes, and Amos has got a weak brain. <laughs> Your picture has certainly meant good luck to me. It has, hasn't it? Oh, but Mary, it's already saved my life. Oh, well, I guess you'd better keep it, Jack. <laughs> I intend to. Always. Happy, Mary? Oh, Mary. You know, they're not dying of thirst back in that wagon train. We don't have to hurry back with this water. I suppose not. Why don't you sit down? Up you go. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Run, Mary! Yeah. Oh.
Folks, we're going to give you the circle of death, that being chapter five of The Engines Are Coming, a story of pioneer days in America. Young Jack Manning has guided the wagon train across the plains to about a day's drive from Gold Creek, where they are heading for. The engines surround them, and a hard bit battle is fought, and everybody is in considerable danger. In the party is Uncle Amos, Tom Woods and his daughter Mary. Also, Rance Carter, a no good cuss, who calculates to wed Mary because he holds her father's notes. Jack Manning sends his dog ahead with a message to his pal Bill Williams at Gold Creek. Jack fights like tarnation for his own life and for Mary, the gal he loves. of those red devils coming down the valley to join them. You follow me.
Boys, those red devils have broken through the barricade. Come on. Oh, I can't Brother Tom yet? No. I was just telling Bill here, if I didn't hear from a brother in that wagon train today, I'm going to start worrying. And I've been telling him Jack Manning is with him. He'll bring him through all right. Yes, yes. <laughs> I hope so. Look. George, that's Jack Storm. Looks like Any trouble to me, boys. In a minute. George. He's out there on the prairie somewhere. He's in trouble. This is Jack's signal that he needs help. Yes, and my brother and Mary, they're with him. Folks, looks like trouble. Come on, folks. Come on, come on. What is it? 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 We lit them. I told you we'd do it. Oh, Amos, this fight isn't over. Those Indians have only withdrawn to fool you. An old trick of theirs. Well, by heck, they don't fool Amos Party. Here, you men, get back to your post. Don't let those Indians fool you. They're not hooked by a long shot. The next attack will be stronger than ever. Wood, you stand with the wagon and guard it. All right, Jack. Here. You men, strengthen those barricades over there.
will kill us all. I, I'm going to surrender. White flag don't mean anything to an Indian. You coward, you. We can't hold out much longer. Homewood, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be out here. You never interfere with my business anymore. It's better so. There's very little hope for any of us now. I'm afraid my dog never got through the bill. Get through. Mary, take this gun. Those red devils must never take us alive. Remember the last shot for yourself. Look! Coming over the ridge! Those are not Indians, they're white men! It's white men, boys! White men! Where's your father? Oh. <laughs> Jack, I reckon the engines would have got you all. Hadn't it been for your dog. My good old pal, yeah. This is Mary. I told you I'd bring her back. 
Howdy, miss. Say, I've heard a lot of nice things about you. Jack. Say, Jack. I reckon I better catch up with the boys and go on and help them round up those engines. Goodbye. <laughs> Hi, old Bill. Why, he'd rather face a whole band of Indians than one little woman. <laughs> Sorry about your poor brother. Poor Tom. Yeah, but there's one consolation. He went down fighting. Oh, here comes Mary now. Come on, boys. Let's get these wagons up. Oh, Uncle George. Uncle, you're all I have left in the world now. You and... You'll ever embrace her, Jack Manning. Harvest. That being chapter six of The Engines Are Coming, a story of the pioneer days in America. Last time, Bill Williams and George Woods rode out from Gold Creek with a posse to help the wagon train which the engines were attacking and got there just in time. George Woods finds that his twin brother, Tom, who was just coming west, has been killed. But Mary, Tom's daughter, was protected by brave Jack Manning, who loves her. Grant's Carter, a jealous coyote, tries to get a shot at Jack. Bill Williams, Jack's pal, chasing the engines, is attacked by two redskins hiding at the top of a cliff. And fighting like fury, all three plunge down into the gorge below.
Unfortunately, Mary, it's the only thing we can do. It's the law of the trail. The last time you'll ever embrace her, Jack Manning. Some old busybody. Oh, uh, Jack, you think we better head for Gold Creek now or wait for Bill and the others? Harwood, you don't have to worry about Bill. He can take care of himself. Mary, I'm going down and get my horse now. Unless you better get that wagon hitched up. All right, Wood. Oh, Slim, get your team hooked up as quickly as you can. I want to get this outfit on the trail right away. All right, Jack. I told you I'd settle them pesky redskins. We are some more engines. Bring them on. Well, old chief, fly up the creek. Get out of your war paint and feathers now. We've got to hit the trail for Gold Creek. Hey, Jack, there's something I've been wanting to say to you all day. Well, it'll have to keep, Uncle Amos. Tell me the next time you see me. Sure, but, but just a minute. I haven't got time now. But, but, uh... Hey, hey, Les, can you just get somebody to ride my horse for a little ways? Well, what's the matter, Amos? Well, if it's all the same to you, I'm going to ride standing up in the wig. <laughs> Go ahead. George, I can't go away and leave poor father here. My <laughs> poor brother. Poor Tom. Hey, Les. Yeah? You better get this outfit strung out. You want to hit Bone Creek by sundown. Oh, we'll only be a few minutes, Manning. Does you know what you are, eh? All right, good. Oh, hey. I think that's all. Mr. Wood, if there's anything I can do to help you or Mary here, I'd be glad to do it. No, Rance Carter. There isn't anything you can do for us. I'll see you at the settlement tonight, Woods. You and I have some business to attend to. Very well, Carter. I'll be there. Say, hey, Les. Uh, what is it, Manny? You better hold your wagon here a while and wait for Mary and her uncle. I'll, I'll be... I should start the others. I'll be right glad to, Manny. All right, there. Oh, Annie, come here. Okay. Move on. All the wagons right up this way. Follow right up that door. You know, I feel right sorry for Mary. Right. Right. Even her poor old father out there in the flames like this. Yes, I know, Les. Help. Well, my men will keep going right away.
up with them engines. No? Well, I sure did, and they were plenty tough. And you sure look it, too. <laughs> hey, fellas, looky here. Hey, Bill. What does that smoke signal mean? It means that them engines is calling the others back to their village. Oh, that's it, eh? Yeah. We saw a bunch of troops over the hill there. Maybe that'll harm along. <laughs> <laughs> sure will. Well, I'm hurting back for town. Me too. All right, Come boys, on. go ahead. worried, Jack. My poor father, out there on the plains, all alone. Oh, I know how you feel, Melly, and I, I do sympathize with you. But then, that's all in the past, you know, and you can't bring back the past. Just remember, you've got your whole life to live, and you've got to make it a happy one. And then, of course, you know you're not entirely alone. There's your Uncle George, and you've always got me. Jack. Mary, tell you what you do. You get under the covers and get a good night's rest. And when you wake up in the morning, the whole world's going to look brighter. I've got to leave you now, but I'll see you in the morning. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mary.
stop putting stop to the uprising. There's just a few scattered bands left. That's good news, Bill. Now I can go back to the mine and go to work. Tonight, I'm going to play for a showdown. If you fellas do as I told you, we'll all get rich. Yeah? Go ahead and get the horses, Charlie. Come on, McGee. Want to dance with me, Whiskers? No. Yeah. <laughs> now will you have a drink? No. I got some important information I've been wanting to give Jack Manning all day. <laughs> Death to me. Your brother agreed that Mary and I should get married as soon as we arrived here in Gold Creek. Oh. <laughs> I heard Bull McGee accuse Lance Carter of having the gold. Then I seen Carter with a little sack of gold, and I reckon it's the gold that you lost. I've suspected Carter all the time. You know what? Your brother incurred that debt to stake you to come out here. I know it. And I sent Jack Manning back east with plenty of gold. Just to cancel that debt. If you did, that gold never reached its proper destination. What? Bill. Bill. There's going to be trouble. You see that none of Carter's friends interfere. You depend on me, Jack. Carter, that gold did reach its destination, and you know it. Are you going to give it to Woods, or am I going to have to take it off him? Manning, you're not big enough to take anything away from me. <laughs> to the death. Good. There's the wagon, and Mary Woods is sleeping in it right now. If we want to get that gold that Carter promises, we got to do what he said. Well, I'm going to get that gold. Come on, Jack. 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 Oh, 
folks, right now we're going to have the hostage of fear. That being chapter seven of The Engines Are Coming, a story of pioneer days in America. Jack Manning has safely guided the wagon train to Gold Creek. But Rance Carter, that ornery hound, he reckons he's going to wed Mary, the girl Jack loves. Carter has got Mary's gardeen, her Uncle George, under his thumb on the count of an old debt, Carter figures, is still due him. But Jack Manning, he knows that the debt has been paid. He accuses Carter of trickery, and they come to blows. While Mary is grieving over the death of her father, killed by the pesky engines, and Jack and Carter are fighting like devils in the saloon, right sudden, a shot crashes through the window, and Jack goes down. Lance Carter, I've waited a long time to give you Don't be too sure of that, Jack Manning. George Wood, I think your friend Manning's gonna get the worst of this. And I'm afraid you're making a big mistake. Come on, Jack. Jim Williams, this is a free-for-all fight, and I'm going to get right in. Hello, please. You stay out of this. Sure, he didn't get you. No, I'm, I'm all right. It was just, just shock. You see, Mary's picture. Didn't I tell you that picture would bring me good luck? Uh, save my life again. Yeah. Well, Mary's picture may be good luck, but I'm going to get the fellow that fired that shot. And if you don't, I will. Yes, I, I know you will, boy. It's all right, Jim. Keep me covered. There you are, the notes in the bowl. I found it on Rance cart, just as I told you. You're right, Amos. Jack, that's the very gold I gave you to bring back to my brother. Yes, and that crook stole it. I knew that bag of gold in his pocket all the time, you ought to be hungry. Yes, and I'm with you. Roger, you can keep the gold you stole from me. The notes that you hold against Mr. Wood are paid in full. Huh. I always knew you wasn't half as smart as you thought you were. Oh, it's a woman's voice. It's Mary. Jack! I thought Mary and carried her away. Who was? Oh, some ruffians. I tried to stop them, but they got me. Here, Frank, take her. All right, Jack. Come on, Wood. Which way do they go? That way. Amos, get the horse as quick as you can. Break up, Wood. We'll get her back. They can't travel fast with a prisoner. Come on, Bill. We'll pick up the track. All right. Oh, this is terrible. First, my brother's killed, and then Mary's gone. And I, I urged them to come out here. That Manning crowd isn't true with me yet. 
The next time it'll be my turn. Let's have a drink. Look, Bill. The plain trail, all right. Five shod horses, and one of them has lost a front shoe. Come on, boys. Don't you worry, Jack. We'll find them. If they done anything to that girl of yours. Tell her to stop her. Oh, both stay together now. I Don't forget to watch the black canyon, boys. Now watch the Indian boys. Be careful. Oh, over there. I think that's the other trail. I'm sorry, can you, baby? All right, sir. You're tying up your clothes to leave a trail for your friends, eh? Yes, and when my friends find me, they'll make you suffer for this, Bo McGee. Huh. Let me give me that rag, Bo. Huh. Let them trail it. Where we're going, there ain't no white man going to follow. Go ahead, Jim. You keep an eye on her. Come on, No, let there see what's stuck in it. Me, no, 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 Neil. Here you are. It's interesting. Here's the one down on Neil. You might hear me this. We are in no way in here. It's a shiver. Come on, near us. I reckon you're doing your own housekeeping. Everything's gone wrong, Amos. I had planned such a happy homecoming for Mary and my brother. Now, don't you worry about Mary. Oh, Jack will bring her home all right. You know, I told him just how to go about it. I hope you're right, Amos. Right. Say, I'm always right. Let's clean up this dirt. That's a good idea. Oh. 
Bill, look. This trail forks here. That's their trail, all right, Bill. Yes, but Jack, that trail leads right into the engine country. That's the trail they've taken, Bill. Mary's blazed it for us. Well, come on. There's Yellow Snake's camp. Come on. Hold on there, partner. How do we know they're not going to scalp them? Well, I'll give them the signs that we're friends and here on a peaceful visit. All right, Bull. Old Yellow Snake says, come on. All right. Oh, I'm not going. Hey, none of that, Miss. Come on. He wants to know what we want. Well, you tell him that you brought your friends to him for protection from the bad white man. He says that fools decide quickly. Wise men seek counsel. Oh. They're going into council now. That's the way they always do. I guess we've got to wait. You, Carter. Well, after what happened yesterday, you're not welcome here. Get out. Just a minute, Wood. I'm not here on a social call. I'm here on business. Let's sit down and talk it over. Come on. Woods, I've come for a signed deed to one half of your claim. <laughs> That's funny. Wouldn't you give that much to know where your niece is and have her back again? If you know where she is, you'll tell me or I'll just shoot and you'll lose your only chance of ever seeing Mary again. Say. By cracky, we can just hold him here until Mary is brung back. I want that deed. Amos, get the paper and ink. Carter, you're going to suffer for this.
I can't sign away Mary's fortune this way, Carter. No, certainly we can't. Well, what good is a fortune if she never returns? Huh? He's right, Wood. Here they come. Now we'll find out. Mm-hmm. No, no, I do Never got the notion. Look, sir, I'm able. The tires are in three. Hey, yo, the tires are in three. Well, what is it? He says the teepees of his people are ours, and his squalls will guard the white squall. Good. We know how it's done. Tires are in three. Hey, yo, sir, 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 you tell him that we'll pay him for this. Look, Bill. Jack, that's Yellow Snake's camp. They've got Mary and they're dragging her into that teepee. Hold on, Jack. We've got to trick those devils. Jack, Mary would be safer a den of rattlesnakes. Bill, I'm going to get to that teepee. You take the horses and work your way around to the other side of the camp. All right. We're going to have today, folks, the Dagger Duel, that being chapter eight of The Indians Are Coming, a story of the pioneer days in America. Rance Carter, a no-good scamp, goes hog wild when Mary Wood spurns his worthless love and causes his men to carry her off to an Indian village. Carter then goes to Mary's uncle, George Woods, and demands a deed for the half of Wood's rich claim for Mary's safe return. Jack Manning is Mary's true love. He and Bill Williams, his pal in buckskin, have trailed Mary, and as they creep towards the Indians' teepees, Jack's dog tries to warn him that some Indians are hiding in the bush. But the warning comes too late, and the Indians jump Jack. leads right down into that Indian camp. That's Yellow Snake's camp. <laughs> They've got Mary and they're dragging her into that teepee. Come on. Hold on. Jack, we've got to trick those devils. 
Married be saber and a den of rattlesnakes. Bill, I'm going to get to that teepee. You take the horses and work your way around to the other side of the camp. All right. Be careful. They're treacherous. Don't worry about me, Bill. Tried to warn me, didn't you? Jack, are you all right? Oh, I'm all right, Bill. There's no time to be lost to get to Mary. Go ahead. I'll be down there with the horses. Oh, boy, you stay here and watch. Paper Woods, how do we know he's got Mary? What am I, Carter? Well, I'm the only one that knows where Mary is. And I'll be back with proof that I have her. And you'll be ready to give me that paper. What's he talking about? Well, I just told him that your name was Bull McGee and the girl's name was Mary Wood. Oh, well, that's all right. This girl, I told him that she wasn't your squaw. Yeah? Mary! Oh, 
Jack. Look, Bull. Manning's dog. Manning must be here after the girl. He followed our trail here. Well, they won't get her. Pull up. Pull up. Mary, pull up. they're coming. Quick. Now, William. He wants to know what you're fighting for. Tell him we're fighting over the girl. She belongs to me. Huh. He's telling him that she belongs to him. Tell him he lies. He's mine. Throw her down there and her. Down there and her. Hurt it. What's the diagnosis? You're going after the knives. You've got to fight for her. The knives. Oh, Jack! Jack! Don't worry, Mary. It's going to be all right. I'm not afraid of them. <laughs> came to my rescue. <laughs> Patricia, Patricia, tell him I don't know hey. What did he say? He said he thought it was an enemy tribe, but instead, it was a bad white man. They must be killed. Will you tell him to tell Yellow Snake that? Jim, look at Jim. Look at him. He must be in charge of me home. Tell me how he's in charge too. We are. He's got to stay here. You said the white men have got to settle their own fights. Come on. It's all right, you need to go on in. That's the issue. You know what old Yellowsnake said? What? Their time has not yet come. 
That means they're planning trouble. We've got to get away. All right, folks. Yes, Bill. Thanks to your shot, we got away safely. Well, now they'll be right after us. So we'll take the Deep Canyon Trail to Wood's Cabin. Good. Come up, boys. Here he comes now. Well, we lost the girl. Manning and Williams got away from the Indian camp. They've headed for the woods cabin. Yes, I know all about that. I saw them. Now listen, you fellas. I have another plan. Mary, oh, Mary, thank God you're back safe. There's your reward, Jack. Oh. <laughs> Didn't I tell you that if Jack just followed my instructions, oh, he'd get her back safe? Boy, Jack, Carter's going to be back here soon. You better hide those horses and we'll prepare a little surprise for him. Oh, Bill. He'll get them under cover, Jack. Anything to surprise Carter. Come on, we're in the house. Well, I'll go ahead. So you see, Uncle, once again, Jack has saved my life. Hmm. Mary, I'm afraid you owe most of that to Bill. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's you, 
you, Carter. Well, you did come back, didn't you? Yes, Woods. I came back for your answer. And I want it. Oh, you do? Yes, I do. Oh. There's your answer, Carter. <laughs> now, Wood, you have Mary. I want that deed. <laughs> None of that, Carter. What? Curtain paper! Yes, if you'll live long enough. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have today the blast of death, that being chapter nine of The Indians Are Coming, a thrilling story of pioneer days in America. Jack Manning and Bill Williams have rescued Mary Woods, Jack's sweetheart from the Indian village. They return with her to her uncle's cabin where Rance Carter, who's a bad umbre, also in love with Mary, has been trying to make George Woods, her uncle, sign over a half of his claim for her safe return. Carter calculates to come back later for his answer. With Mary already at home, Woods plans a surprise for Carter. But Carter, he turns the tables on them by having the gang fire on their cabin. <coughs> There's your answer, Carter. <laughs> <laughs> now, Wood, you have Mary. I want that deed. <laughs> None of that, Carter. <laughs> you dog! The deed was in Yeah. <laughs> all this because, because I love you. Rance Carter, 
I never want to look upon your face again. That's right, Mary. Get out of this country and don't come back. Get out. Oh, Jack. I always believe in stomping out snakes where you find them. No, Bill. He isn't worth it. You're a nice gang of cowards. I'm no coward, Carter. But I'm getting tired of this job. Come on, fellas, get out. I think that's the last we'll see of Mr. Carter. Oh, Jack. You're not going away, are you? No, indeed I'm not. As a matter of fact, your uncle offered Bill and me an interest in the mine if we'd stay here and help him work it. And we're both going to stay. Oh, I'm so glad, Jack. Say, look. Ain't that just too lovely? Look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not through with Manning and that woods crowd yet. I'll show them. Well, maybe that young Indian chief that took such a liking to Mary would help us out a little bit. I'm not turning Mary over to any Indian chief. You don't have to. Let the Indians do the work. We'll collect the reward. Well, that's a good idea. We'll do it. All right. What is it? I want to know what your business is.
tell him there is much more gold where that came from. If he will help us get it. We are not glad to. No one's standing with us and standing no way we know. That's our whole heart. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. What did he say? He says that the yellow gold has brought him nothing but trouble. And the white man's greed brought him misery and death. No hurt to. That's our only issue has to win it. Put the highest to win it. That's true. That's to me and you. Not to me or to you. What is it? Here the white man robs them of their teepees. When the Indian fights, where well, the soldiers come. <laughs> well, if that's so, ask him what his braves are making bows and arrows and hatchets for. Not the source of our devil. This is one of my commissions. Not the whole one. Not the source of our devil. What is it? What do you say? There's a hunting season here. We are going to see how it's up to one. This is our source of our devil. Not the source of our devil. Who hook our head? What do you say? There's a visit to the man. We've got to get out of here. Right now. Good. 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 Show him this and tell him he can have a white squaw if he'll come and work with us. Today we're going to have a Redskin's Vengeance. That being chapter 10 of The Engines Are Coming, a thrilling story of pioneer days in America. Rance Carter, stopping at no kind of deviltry, has joined up with the Engines to gain possession of Mary Woods. The Redskins attack the Woods gold claim. Jack Manning with Mary, his sweetheart, and Bill Williams, his pal, are trapped in the mine tunnel where, unknown to them, a blast has been set by Mary's uncle. Bill fights off the attackers at one end of the tunnel, while Mary and Jack try to escape through the other. And then as they hurry along, the tunnel blows up. Bill, that's Rance Carter with a bunch of Indians. They mean mischief. Do, Jack. You take Mary, run through the tunnel, and out the other end. I'll stay here and hold them off. Well, I can't let you do that, Bill. I can't leave you alone. You've got to. It's the only way you can get Mary out of here. All right, Bill. Come on, Mary. Be careful, Bill. I will. I tell you, there's nobody in that mine but Bill Williams. I know, Bull. He sent the Manning and the girl through that tunnel.
Gib mir keinen Fang weg. You see? You see, Carter? He's working out just like I said. The Indians are doing the work. We'll get the reward. Yeah, that young Indian chief thinks he's gonna get married, but he's not. Charlie, go over and get that girl. Right. Now, wait a minute. Carter, you're a fool. Can't you see McGee? They'll think Manning killed him. Oh. Lucky for you, Carter. If they'll think Manning fired that shot, or they'll kill us all. I know what I'm doing. Tom, go get those horses. All right. Come on, now we'll get the girl. Well, don't make any more false moves. We've got to go with them to the village to see if they finish Jack Manning. And then we'll take the girl and leave. All right. Woods! Woods! Oh, what's the matter? What's the matter, Woods? You ain't hurt it, be you? Huh? Hey, tell me. You ain't dead, are you? Hey, George. Oh, Uncle Amos. Those Indians, they, they got me good that time. Well, darn their pesky redskins. Say, they just know that I have no musket, or they wouldn't come around here. Ouch. Hey, easy there. Well, hey, here's Bill. Oh, give us a hand, will you? Well, what's the matter? What's the matter? Why, that darn Indians and I stopped him when I wasn't looking. Oh, did they get you bad, George? Yeah, they got me pretty bad, Bill. Well, now listen, fellas. We've got to get over to the cabin. Why, the woods are just full of engines. Come on, yeah. come on, let's get him over. Hey, give us a hand. Easy now. Be careful now. Take it easy, George. You all right? I'm all right. You'll be all right in a minute. Take it easy there, Rich. Now, you take care of George, Amos. I'll go to the settlement, warn the others, and get help. All right. All right. Ah, 
Warpath again. They're taking my pal Jack Manning and the Woods Girl to Yellow Snake's village. I've seen smoke signals all along the way. It's a general uprising. Well, my camp isn't far. I'll ride back and give the alarm. All right, and bring them to Yellow Snake's. No heat He up on the warpath again, sir. They've attacked the woods mine, carried off Jack Manning and Miss Woods to the old Yellow Snake's camp. Hmm. This looks rather serious, Sergeant. Have the trumpeter blow boots and saddles. Yes, sir. Point, Jim. Where did you get your information? From Scott Bill Williams. Change your horse and be ready to go with us. Snake is asking him who killed his son. The young buck said he wasn't sure, but he thought it was the white leader, meaning man. What a cowardly whelp you are, Carter.
folks, today we're going to show you Frontiers of Flame, that being chapter 11 of The Engines Are Coming, a thrilling story of pioneer days in America. You'll recollect Jack Manning was captured by the engines when he tried to rescue Mary Woods, the girl he loves. The engine chief thinks Jack killed his son, so orders Jack bound to the death stake. Rance Carter the ordinary scoundrel who joined with the engines to help him take Mary from Jack is also held captive by them. Bill Williams, Jack's pal, steals towards the engine camp to rescue Jack, just as a chief raises his club to deal Jack the death blow. Yes. <laughs> 
It's a show, that's the show we have. Nick Stranger. Oh, and it is a show. Me ho he. 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 You want that scout just to yell a snake? No, what? That the soldiers were coming. Where is that castle? Head to where? Look, I'm not sure where it's going to go. That way, I'm just going to warn you. You yell a snake is telling his brain that the soldiers will drive them from the TP. But we will strike first. That means war. It may start all those first. We got to get out of here. Come on, come on. I'll stay here and hold those red devils off. You go on. No, Bill. I can't let you make that sacrifice. It's for her, Jack. For Mary. You've got to get through. All right. But I'll leave the dog here with you. When they close in, he'll do his share. All right.
Now, what the heck is that, I want? Hey, Woods! Woods, come out here! Hey, Woods, what's the meaning of that smoke up there? It's an Indian smoke signal, Amos. It means they're on the law path again. We've got to get to town and warn the others. We can only hope and pray that Mary and Jack are safe, wherever they are. Come on, Amos. Hey, Carter. This uprising is spreading. we got to get to a settlement somewhere. Where can we go? Harder Creek is the nearest. Well, we lead. can go there. Lead the way. Better take her to a hotel. All <laughs> you, you red devil, you got me, you got me, didn't you? But you didn't get Jack. You didn't get Jack. He got through. He got through to the girl. We tricked you. We tricked you, we did. You saw the Indians kill Jack Manning, and there's no one else to help you but me. Oh, my God. 
would. What did you see in the sewer there? Wait a minute, Mammy. Where is she? Father took her in the hotel. Today, friends, we're showing you Trails In, that being Chapter 12 of The Engines Are Coming, a thrilling story of the pioneer days in America. The old Indian chief was going to kill Jack Manning, you recollect, because he thought Jack had killed his son, Howard Wolf. But the medicine man revived the son just in time to halt the fatal blow. While rejoicing over Howland Wolf's recovery, the engines are surprised by the coming of soldiers and the camp is thrown into a wild mess. In the excitement, Rance Carter gets away again with Mary Woods, but Jack and Bill are close behind them. Bill holds off the engine in a rocky pass while Jack follows to a town where Rance has Mary hidden and locked in a house. The engines attack and fire the town. Mary is trapped in a blazing building. Jack fights his way to her just as the flaming structure collapses. Wait, Mary, what? What did you do with her? Wait a minute, Mary. Where is she? Father took her now. Oh, hell. Get 
Out and forth. Stay for a time to back your uncle's cabin. Ik ben heel veel mensen niet in. He wants to know where the white squaw is. He means Mary Woods. Tell him she's dead. Hij is moeke. Hij is moeke. Don't kill me! Don't kill me, Adet! I want to meet you now.
Uh, they'll never get me. If that ain't Mary and Jack, it sure is. It's Mary. Mary. Oh, what a joy. Mary, I thought. Oh, I thought. Oh, so and good. I thought I'd lost you. I told you the engine wouldn't get Jack Manning. That's all right, Amos. But let's get Mary down to the cabin as soon as we can. All right, let's go. Manning dog. God, are you? God, you? They're coming for you now. Do you hear them? Dog Jack, and he looks as though he's wounded. Oh. oh, my faithful old pal. Mary, I left him with Bill. And Bill sent no word, no message. Oh. Something must have happened. Poor Bill. Sounds like Bull McGee. But you don't know me. I didn't tell you. I tell you I didn't. I didn't do it, I tell you. Oh, Jake McGee. Why was Carter, Rand Carter. He shot you when he was attacked at the wagon train. So Mary would, would be alone. But I didn't do it, I tell you I didn't. Oh, it was Carter, eh? Yes, yes, Carter, that's Carter. My poor father. 
Who shot Manning that night in the saloon? Well, I did, Wood. You, but the Carter made me do it. The Teddy Carter made me do it, I tell you. Come, Mary. safe here now with your uncle because I must go. Oh, no, no, Jack. Don't go. I've got to. I've got to go out there and find Bill. I guess that'll hold him, Amos. All right. I'll see that the marshal gets him. Come on. to stay there and hold them off until I could get through. Now he's gone. He gave up his life for us, Nelly. No pal could do more. their best. I guess they would have. If the boys hadn't have got there just when they did. It's sure good to be back again. Hounds in buckskin. <laughs> All right, folks. Goodbye. 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 more trouble with the Indians. You know, Mary and I have decided to... Well, Mr. Woods wants us all to stay here and live with him. It looks as though we're going to find a lot of happiness in this little old cabin, Bill. Oh, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> 